Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Dave. And in this Magento 2 Basics tutorial, you're going to learn how to clear the cache in Magento 2. That's right. And with that said, let's jump straight across to our Magento admin area. And remember, you can follow us along in your system too. We'll see you there in just a second. So Dave, this is dead easy to do, but in Magento 2, as we've already learned in the other previous tutorials, they've kind of mixed things up in the menu, haven't they, Dave? They have. Everything's in a bit of a new place. And obviously clearing the caches, as we found in the old Magento 1 tutorials, is that you have to do that quite frequently. So it's pretty important to know how and where it is. That's right. Now, we are going to be showing you how to do this the quick way, and we're not going to go into any depth at all into what the caches do and why they're important. Instead, we have a separate video tutorial which covers off each of the cache types, and there's several different cache types, as you're about to learn in a few moments' time, in Magento 2. And in the second tutorial, we go a little bit deeper. And again, if you want to, you'll be able to find out what each of the caches do and why they're important, and also how to clear them out as well as a secondary measure. Anyway, coming on to the topic. If you're on the left hand side of your Magento system, if you click on system, so click on the cog and then click on cache management. Now, Dave, it's also worth pointing out you can get to this section. So maybe you're into stores and configuration, for example, you make a change. So let's go and change our config on here. Then, Dave, do you see the pop up which we've got on our screen here? One or more caches have been invalidated. We can also get to the section by just clicking on the link at the top as well. So let me just quickly change that back to the United Kingdom and then click on save config. And we can either now just click the link at the top or we can go to system and then cache management underneath the tools menu. Now, Dave, like I said, we're not going to go into the details of what each of these caches are. Now, my biggest tip for you is not to worry about just going in and ticking each of these individually. What I would strongly suggest is that you just drop this little box down on the left hand side and then choose select all and then click submit at the top. And that will then clear out all of your caches. And yes, it will take a few seconds more, but then there's no mistakes in there. You don't have to go, if you miss one or click on the wrong one, then having to go back and then tick the other one again. Okay, so Dave, I like the easy life, especially when it comes to Magento 2. So my biggest tip for you is just to come in, click on the mass actions button, choose select all, and then click on submit on the left hand side. Now, Dave, while we're here, I am just going to point out that with that drop down box over here, you can also enable or disable those caches. And also we have Magento's cache storage, which we can flush by clicking on that link there. It doesn't look like a button. Okay. So the right hand side, that does look like a button, but if you click on that one there, you do get this pop up and just click on OK on there. And again, that's especially important if you've been installing a new extension, for example, to Magento. You also have the Magento cache as well. There's no little pop up on that one. It just takes a few seconds to go through. And of course, there's three additional buttons down here at the bottom. And again, I'm keeping this the non nerdy version. We'll cover what these different caches are off in a separate video tutorial. So if, if that is something which interests you, do check out our YouTube channel or nip across to Understand the E and then look up the Magento 2 Basics course, which we've got. All of the Magento 2 Basics course is completely free. So you can either just watch straight off the page or you can join a register if you like. Anyway, coming back onto the topic. You can also elect to flush out the images cache. Also, if you have been combining your JavaScript and CSS files, you can also clear out the cache there. Again, that's really important if you've been editing your theme files. And also, you can clear out your static files cache as well. And that can be simply done is just clicking on one of those buttons or each of those in turn. And that's it, Dave. Job done. And of course, if you'd be making changes to your Magento website, this is where you would then go across to the front end or the customer view of your website and then check the changes just to make sure that they've gone through successfully. Nice and simple, Dave. Yeah, totally. Nice and simple, nice and easy. And now we know where it is even better. Excellent. Now, like I said, we do have a second tutorial. We will go into the different cache types which are available 
in Magento 2 in much, much more depth. And we wanted just to do this one, it's just as a nice, simple one. So me and Dave, we're off to go and record the next one, the nerdier version. If you do have some interest in what these different cache types are, so if you wanted to know what the collection data actually is, or what EAV means, or FPC, what these different things mean, look up the next video tutorial, it should be the next one in the course, and that's where you'll find out what these different terms mean and why they're important. So with that said, both myself, Dave, and of course, Matt too, sincerely hope that you have found this tutorial useful for you and your business. And with that said, for myself, Matt, and me, Dave, cheerios. So for myself, Matt, and me, Dave, we hope that you found this video tutorial helpful. If you have, then let us know by leaving a thumbs up on this video below or subscribing to our YouTube channel. We believe to use Magento, you don't need a degree in Nerd, and we've created you over 300 step-by-step -step video tutorials at understandinge.com to help you. In these tutorials, you'll learn how to use Magento with no prior knowledge. How to build a fully responsive Magento website for just $99, which is about 65 quid. How you can use Magento to sell on eBay and Amazon with M2E Pro. And you'll be joined by over 6,000 fellow business owners just like you. And the best part is, it's free to join. So for myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We'll see you there. Cheerios.